I say something stupid, you guys cut it out. Okay, you're, you're in charge of cutting out stupid things. Yeah. Well, right after college, I had a film degree, and I got a job working at Levi Strauss doing animated cartoons, which was, I was excited about. Went up to the Embarcadero, and as soon as I got in the corporate situation, I realized it was totally not for me, and I got very depressed. And I hitchhiked back down south, and I wound up in Carmel. And uh, I've always enjoyed art, and so I decided that I'll be an artist. And I uh, took a year and uh, wrote and illustrated a book. And uh, soon after, I came to this building and asked somebody if they wanted to uh, use me as an artist, and they convinced me into renting a space here. And I said I had no money, and they said, okay, we'll give you the first month's rent free. And I said, okay, and I set up shop, and uh, luckily I made the first month, and now I'm on my 12th year. And this is how far I've gotten. I do whatever I want. I've had pretty much 20 years of absolute freedom to be an artist. And what I've done is each, I, I take on each, uh, each job as sort of a, I shouldn't say job, each picture is sort of a separate project. And whatever the message of that picture is, I try to use whatever medium it takes to get it across. And uh, so I've gone through lots of different styles. I started out, during the 80s, I primarily did serographs. And uh, that's the sign and numbered prints, they're silk screened. So there's, there's no originals, there's just overlays. And when my editions are through, they're through, there's no uh, second editions, third editions. And then pretty much all during the 80s and 90s, I've been working on uh, color with pastels, chalk pastels and canvases, acrylic and uh, watercolors. Well, usually when you go to a gallery, uh, the art dealer has to explain what was going on in the artist's mind and they translate. Here, since I'm the artist, and this is my work, I can tell you exactly what this meant. Not that you have to buy the message, but at least that's what I, as the artist, tried to stay. And, uh, and it's also a little bit harder talking about your own work when it's for sale, but if you notice, I don't have any prices on my work. And the reason I do that is because I want people to look at the work first. And whenever you put prices on, people have a tendency to judge the work by whatever number is on it. So, uh, I have a very uh, sliding scale price. I have the highest I ever got for it and the lowest and somewhere in between is what I try to work with people. Great. Um, who would you say is your favorite type of artwork to execute? Well, you know, I've done so many different themes and uh, I'm pretty consistent with my themes. It's usually something to help, the, usually a positive message. and. Uh, a lot of vegetarian statements, don't kill animals, a lot of pro-hemp statements. Um, and just sometimes just natural observations of things that I consider beautiful or positive. Okay. Talk a little bit about the show that uh, you're so proud of that you participated in back east. Well, back in 1984, I published my first serograph. And, uh, I traded a moped for a down payment, and uh, it was actually a, a sign painter who decided to go fine art. I kind of convinced him to try the fine art thing. So we uh, printed this piece right here, the cannery row piece. And uh, that was just basically, I was, I've been on the street for 12 years, and there was a time after the sardines left on cannery row, and a time before the commercialism with the aquarium and the Plaza Hotel. And so that little time span is basically when I've had my, my run here. And so I did a set to commemorate this street. And the first uh, piece in the set was a facade right across my building. I spent a lot of time on the other side by the ocean. And uh, one year after I printed it, there's 200 in the edition, someone came in and it wound up in the Cleveland Museum of Art in a show. And what was significant is that I'm the only living artist in the whole show. And my company is, you know, Picasso, Warhol, Gutenberg from the Bible. Um, so it was, it was pretty uh, special to be acknowledged by a museum for my quality of art.
Sachs, Studio and Gallery, 807 Cannery Row.